Hi, Vicki here again. Yesterday I did a quick unboxing of the uh, Photo Pro C5C tripod and I did a little bit of work out in the field with it yesterday. I couldn't do too much because I went to a garden and it was a beautiful day and it was super, super crowded so really using a tripod would have actually been dangerous because um, there were little kids and, and families running everywhere and there really wasn't a whole lot of room. Um, but I did get to play with it a little bit so I'm going to give you uh, a little bit more of my impressions about this tripod. Um, but one thing I wanted to show before uh, we get into the details of the tripod itself is um, I bought this one because I was not very happy with the Manfrotto uh, B3, which you can see the, the difference in size is a little bit different, a couple of inches. Um, the bag size looks considerably different because this one um, has a lot of padding. Uh, the, the Photo Pro also has this little outside pouch with, uh, that you can put all your tools, which actually I really like. Um, in, in addition, this bag has this strap, which is nice if you're traveling, you can put it over your, um, your luggage rack or, or if you're using one. Um, it has a padded, a nice padded strap, which is more substantial than this little rubber grip one that comes with the um, Manfrotto. The Manfrotto is aluminum and this one is carbon fiber. Um, the weight difference is right now, the way I'm feeling it here is neg negligible really. Um, and like I said, if you want something really, really uh, small, there are smaller ones even than this one. But I'll tell you a little bit more about why I like this one over the Manfrotto. So let's, uh, let's open it up. For starters, um, the whole leg release mechanism is much smoother and much nicer on the, the, um, the Photo Pro. Um, I really like the mechanism for unlocking the legs. Um, very soft. I'm not even sure what kind of rubber this is, but it's very smooth. Um, and I really like the way they release. And of course, the, um, the legs on the carbon fiber just feel so much more smoother and not as cold as the uh, aluminum of the, um, of the Manfrotto. Uh, the Manfrotto legs are also thinner. Um, and they have these, this type of release, which is the lever, which um, can tend to get a little stiff or be too loose and requires adjustment um, at times. Um, so again, I like the, the release system of the, um, of the Photo Pro better. It's a twist lock um, <clears throat> and is very smooth. And as I mentioned um, yesterday when I did the, the unboxing, is it's got these little indentations and it fits your fingers really nicely. Um, so I, I like this mechanism better. Um, also, this one, I tend to get things caught in it. Uh, sometimes I get my strap caught in it. Um, sometimes just my finger gets a little clipped a little bit. Um, so uh, I don't like that for that reason. The other thing I really don't like about the Manfrotto is the, the leg lock system. It's these little, um, little aluminum, I think they are, little, they're like these little clips. Um, or levers that you have to twist to um, actually lock in, and I really don't like that. Again, it's um, it's difficult to know which one you should be on. You have to kind of release it. It's uh, not really that smooth. Um, I have gotten my finger caught in it before trying to close it quickly, um, so I really don't um, like that. Um, does have the uh, the center column does go up and down. Um, you know, I think it's as tall as the, uh, the new one that I just got. Um, I don't like the, um, the tripod, um, plate that it comes with. It's not the Arca Swiss, so I did switch that out for a Joby, um, which was much better, but then the, it did not, the legs did not close properly, um, because it, the Joby was a little bit wider than this one is. Uh, but I had to because I just hate this plate. My finger always gets trapped in this, um, this mechanism here it's stiff it's you know difficult to use you have to hold down a lever at the same time you're you're trying to release it I know it's a quick release plate but I'm just not in favor of this type of, um, of release plate so uh, th those are the things I did not like about the Manfrotto um, it also on this Manfrotto it does not have an option to use one of the legs as a uh, monopod, which the, the new one does. So th those are my dislikes about the Manfrotto. So let's go back to uh, what I like about the new one that I just bought, the Photo Pro. So the clicks you were hearing yesterday when I opened it um, is, are, is actually the release mechanism for um, the leg when you want to extend it uh, or a little uh, further out. So it's actually just a clip that you press down on and then 
you can snap it to uh, which uh, which um, desired uh, position. Uh, so they just snap right out. That's the clicking that you were hearing is actually this little uh, thing right here. So once you get it to the desired position, you just let it go and it snaps right into place. So I like that. Um, I don't have to fiddle around with, with anything um, that enables me to uh, then you know, get the desired uh, position. It just automatically does it and I really like that. Then when you just wanna change it, you just hold it down and then flip it up. But if I want to leave it that way, that's all I have to do. If I want to do one more, that's all I have to do. I don't have to click anything to make it go down any further. Um, so that's what I like about that. I found in the field it was very, I carried it around for four hours walking through the Longwood Gardens. And uh, I didn't really feel the weight. It just was on my shoulder and with a nice padded strap there. And I, it didn't bother me at all. Um, it, it was long enough uh, that it fit across body, so I didn't have to, you know, keep adjusting it. Where uh, this one, um, I really doesn't go long enough for me to do it to wear it cross body. Um, so it's a nice bag, but again, not padded like the uh, Photo uh, Photo Pro, and doesn't have the strap long enough to go across my body. Um, so the other things I noticed about it um, did the uh, <clears throat> the mechanism to. Um, loosen the ball head is uh, has these different numbers on it I don't know that they're actually that useful for anything but it just shows you the degree of tightness um, and also it has a panning knob here so that you can turn that and then pan it around um, and then tighten it when you need to and then to loosen the tripod plate you just loosen it up and tighten it and it's it's pretty easy to use and it does have the bubble like I said yesterday it has the bubble for when you have it in uh, landscape mode and then another bubble for portrait mode. So it has a bubble here and a bubble on the actual knob. And then to um, move it, it up and down, it's just got this little knob here, the attention control. Um, and then there's another knob here, which I haven't really figured out what the difference is in the two. I think one is a quicker, uh, one is a diff I think it's just a different type of uh, collar. I'm not really sure, I have to look it up in the manual but uh, it's very easy to adjust that as well. And then there is uh, a 3 8 uh, screw on the bottom here, which you can make disappear, but there is uh, an accessory in the um, bag that they gave me that also has a clip so that you can weight down the bag if you want to. So it's nice that you can remove it if you don't need it, add it if you want. And it's a substantial clip as well, but it just screws on right there. Um, so uh, if you want to make it a monopod, you can just uh, unscrew the leg here and it becomes a monopod um, and then if you want to um, extend it which I thought was a kind of neat feature if you wanted to make this an even um, longer monopod and I'm not unscrewing it the right way um, we'll do that later but if you want to unscrew it and make it even longer than it is already with these three um, leg extensions you can un you can remove the center column and screw it on and then you would have the two pieces to make an even longer monopod, which is uh, kind of a neat feature, I think. So that's my first impressions of the uh, Photo Pro C5C tripod. Um, I'm gonna give you more specs on the tripod itself in my written review on my blog, um, but I just wanted to give you a first look at it. Uh, very attractive tripod. Really like um, the way it looks. They have several different colors. I really like uh, the orange, as I mentioned yesterday. Um, but really solid tripod, uh, but very light. Really like how uh, you can make the adjustments very easily. Love the Arca Swiss um, of the uh, tripod uh, head. And uh, I think I'm really gonna like this tripod. So thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have more reviews to come. Really appreciate it. Thanks again.